Hi, I'm Melinda Treadwell, president and alumna of Keene State College, here with you today to talk about our reopening plans and the expectations that uh, you should have for us and that we'll have for you. So I'm wearing my mask because this is one of our requirements for the year. I'm gonna take it off right now because I have physical separation from the filming team and because it's a little easier for you to hear me. So welcome back and welcome to Keene State College. The most important thing for me to say is we are so excited to have you back. We are very excited to resume what is the special part of Keene State, which is being in community together, having the incredible academic experiences this campus is known for, and the incredible community of shared student life on this campus. We are very excited about that, and the purpose of this video is to give you a sense of the types of things you should expect, the requirements we're going to ask of you, but more importantly, the shared commitment I hope you'll join us in making. As we deal with COVID-19 and return to life, at a time when there is a virus in our world that does present risk to each of us in different ways. The team at Keene State College has been working for the past three months to develop a plan that ensures a science, evidence-based foundation to safety. We have been working with experts within our campus and our university system. We've been working with the state, with our local hospitals and the Dartmouth-Hitchcock network and with advisors and experts from across the country to ensure that the types of precautions we're putting in place are justified, are appropriate, and are beyond the minimums to ensure that what we're doing, what we're hoping to create here at Keene State and in the University System of New Hampshire provides the safest possible environment for you, our students, and for the faculty and staff that I serve as your president. With that, let me talk a little bit about what it will look like. We are moving up our academic launch this year to the week of August 24th. So when you move in on campus, a few things are going to be different. You will move in. If you're a new student, you'll be part of our welcome program. You will also begin to launch into your academic experiences with the faculty remotely here at Keene State. So you'll begin to experience a remote connection with our faculty while you're back with us during the week of August 24th. During that week, we will be submitting every member of our community, faculty, staff, and student, to ensure what your COVID status is. So we'll be administering tests for all members of our community to be tested for COVID to ensure that as we return to community, we are returning to a COVID-free environment. There will be regular testing throughout the year. That is part of our essential requirement as a campus and as a university system. We are going to test often and we are expecting that all members of our community will be a part of that testing protocol because it helps us to understand whether the virus is here and if it is that we can take quick action to protect you and others from the virus with our hospital partners and as a city. So what that will mean for you is your classrooms will have fewer students in them because of the fact that we're trying to preserve physical space. In addition, what that will mean is for larger classes where all students cannot meet at the same time is we're going to have some blended learning or some flexible learning where there is a place-based component and an online component and audiences may rotate during the course of an instructional week. In addition to that, our dining services will be providing healthy choices, but you'll be delivered your food in a way that's slightly different than in the past, and that is to ensure your safety and to ensure the spacing that is recommended by our public health uh, advisors. Lastly, what I will say is there will be a lot more cleaning. Um, our CNW team, the, the group that works with us to keep our campus beautiful and safe and clean, we are stepping up our cleaning processes, and that is to ensure that with all of our testing, with our mask requirements, with all the other things we're doing, we're also ensuring that our surfaces stay clean and our facilities are clean for you and safe for you. Lastly, for those living on campus, residence halls, our occupancies will also be limited. We are moving to a place with no more than two students sharing a space, and there will be testing for those residents as well. So Owls United is the hashtag that will bring us together this year. Owls United is how we will stand together, stand apart, and be safe in COVID. And it's important that you do your part to keep yourself safe, to adhere to these minimum guidelines and to recognize that some of the way we live and have come to be in community will be not the same next year while we have to have some physical distance from one another. But you will see me on Appian Way. 
You will see your classmates on Appian Way. We will be in community together, but we are asking you to wear masks and to be a part of the community commitments. It's not that big a deal to wear a mask. I ask you to join me in making sure that we keep others safe by doing a simple thing like wearing a cloth mask. So in the coming days, you'll hear more. Stay tuned to our website, and I cannot wait to see you back on campus. We've missed you, and we look forward to welcoming you back.